And I, I appreciate Ramsey's bluff here a lot. I think that he's got to make the jam there with that hand. Now, pre-flop, everyone's just completely AWOL, and, and no one's actually in line at, at the slightest level. Everyone's just clicking buttons really hard, trying to build pots to gamble with later. But everyone is playing a little bit differently post-flop. And that's really interesting in this game, where people are just bloating pots pre-flop for fun, and then everyone gets serious later. Something to think about when you're evaluating the ranges that you're going to play in different types of ways. Four player. Alex Riley asks, what does Ramsey even have when he checks flop and turn? I think I just said that the answer is aces. It's probably the only hand that he's going to have for value at a low frequency. But then you have to ask yourself, what is he bluffing with? And I think we know the answer to that. Or a nine, Alex Riley, or a nine. Great flop for Tim, who loves to make, make big bluffs. Shy with queens, he's not going anywhere. He's, fi he's found a drawing hand against an opponent that's really not going to fold anything real. But they're so deep stacked that, like, this is the spot for Tim to just bet, like, 2,800 and jam river. It's the spot. Shy is way less likely to have a two in his hand. Don't bet too much. Just 28, Tim. Put the 28 in there. Okay, he bets the 2,000, which is okay also. Um, I like to bet a little bit bigger because I want to be able to put the whole stack in on the river. And now it's like a pretty big over bet when it, you want to get more money in. Interesting. The graphics are reading a flush, but the board is not reading a flush. If you guys are watching, paying attention. But I like to make a bigger bet on the turn here uh, because I want to set up a jam with my value hands for pot. And now he's set up a, a really big overbet. Well, a slight overbet. I think Tim's going to go all in here all day. And I think he should. He's got two low spades. It's not a good idea to generally bluff with missed flush draws, but when they're, you're the lowest ones in the deck, it's a pretty good, a pretty good spot to use them. He's not going to have very good removal for his bluff, so he didn't go all in. It looks like he bet something like half pot, which I don't really, I don't really like that. I understand why he did it because it's so much money in this game, and it's a really, really tricky situation. I actually do appreciate the sizing given his effective stacks with Shy, so. If he had bet something like five thousand, I would I would really really disapprove of that. But betting something like uh, like a third or like thirty eight percent of his stack, I think is pretty reasonable. So Shy has a tough spot here. He does have the queen of spades in his hand, which means if Tim was going to be bluffing with spades, he does have the queen, which sucks. A king did river, and Tim is capable of bluffing with random cards, so he could have hit a king, but that's not so important. I think Shai should probably call with a king with two spades, should call with aces, should call with queens without a spade, jacks without a spade, he should probably call with a nine or a six, hands like that. Queens with a spade is really tough. But, you know, he's got to call with like two-thirds of his range here if you're thinking about the theory of the game given the bet size. So Queens with the Spade probably does barely make the cut. And you can see he's pretty upset about having to put the chips in, but he's probably going to end up doing it. And for those of you guys who don't want to hear me rant about all this stuff in hands, you're just not paying close enough attention. And so Shai does make the call. He's going to take the pot down. And this is why, if you're Tim, you have to set up the jam. You gotta take these cards and make sure that you give your opponent max pain. Just rip it in. If you're gonna if you're gonna set up this big pot and then play Tiddly Winks on the river, 
then just set it up differently. Set it up differently.